Welcome to the Fritz Hot Zone Show with Mr. Fritz. Mr. Fritz. Ta-da. Hi. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Fritz Hot Zone Fritz here with my friend Snowman Dan. We're here live at Walla Walla Point Park in Wenatchee yep. on this fabulous Friday. Fabulous Friday. Fabulous Friday. Here. <laughs> Uh, slight breeze, partly cloudy, we had uh, some rain here yesterday and earlier in the week, and I'm going to present uh, my friends the Seltzers, some Rocky Mountain Wild Huckleberry Tea that I picked up mm. on my recent trip to Thompson Falls, Montana. On behalf of, uh, I guess, my family to yours. Mm. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, all right. <laughs> Ta-da. And I gladly accept this. I'm not even tell Rachel about it. <laughs> <laughs> Special shout out to Rachel, who couldn't be here today. Uh, hope her day is going well, and I uh, hope she enjoys a nice cup of huckleberry tea. And I believe there's 15 uh, tea packets uh, in here. I should have brought some hot water. Try that. <laughs> but we'll have to save that for maybe when we get together at uh, Peninsula Park hmm. in Pateras mm -hmm. over uh, sometime over Memorial Day weekend. Hanna is probably world famous for all things Huckleberry. They had. Uh, huckleberry soap, huckleberry lip balm, huckleberry milkshakes, Candies. huckleberry uh, gummy worms, gummy bears, hot chocolate, huckleberry hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. That was good stuff. <laughs> uh, huckle huckleberry uh, covered pretzels. Let's see, huckleberry honey, hmm. and just about anything. You know, huckleberry themed clothing. Uh, with the colors purple, purple, white swirls, and all that. Oh, and uh, huckleberry cinnamon rolls, huckleberry uh, glazed donuts. Uh, so if you, you know, if you like huckleberries, Montana would surely, I'd almost guarantee that they would have something that you would like. Uh, but you don't have to take my word for it. You have to uh, get out and uh, go to Montana. <laughs> go to Montana. Highly recommended, and especially this time of year. You know, fabulous uh, colors, you know, wildlife, uh, not too hot, not too cold, very mild, be outside, enjoy the hiking trails, uh, just an overall fun experience that you can share with the whole family. You can share with the whole family, <laughs> and it's really not that far uh, of a drive from here in Washington. A few hours. Uh, <laughs> it's a few hours. Let me know uh, if you try it. Uh, have a cup of tea before our official taste okay. testing in the be <laughs> in the park. Uh, I'm really curious about this specific brand. I just saw an episode of uh, X Files that I watched last night. <laughs> well, between Mulder and Scully, they were talking, and uh, uh, he said that uh, dreams are the answer to a question that has not been asked yet. Like, oh. So, there, there, you, go. there you go. Uh, so that's about, that's all the news that I have. It's good to be back in Washington. The trip to Montana went by too quickly. Uh, we're planning a, another trip here later on in the year, maybe around uh, after Labor Day weekend, we'll make one final trip over and uh, see the autumn colors and go over before uh, Thompson Pass closes because they, they close that in the winter. And that's a, uh, a quicker way to get there than going on I-90 and then turning off at St. Regis and then backtracking on Montana Highway 200 up there. You just cut off on I-90 at Kingston, Idaho, and follow the pass, and you end up in the Idaho-Montana border, 
and then it's about a 30 minute drive from the border to Thompson Falls. Point Park in Wenatchee and I'm going to give uh, Snowman Dan here some coupons that I received recently in the mailbox and hopefully they'll be able to put them to good use and I'm thinking about making a trip to Kashmir a, either this weekend or next week because I know I'm running out of time before Liberty Orchards, the makers of the world famous applets and cutlets, goes out of business after being in operation for 101 years because their last day is May 31st. Established 1920. <laughs> so if you if you haven't gone there, I would highly recommend it. Uh, last year, last year. Last chance, <laughs> unless someone buys it, but I haven't heard. I, I just to, just had a little something to that. I have heard that there's rumors that there is interest. Oh, really? But Ooh. we don't know if that interest is going to actually turn into somebody buying it uh, right away, or maybe it might, might be down the road a while. It might close and then it might reopen eventually. But it might not. So. Ah. Hopefully, because the only thing I heard uh, unofficially was that treetop was looking into it, but that was uh, that was last year, so I don't know if there's been any movement on that front or not. But and not a sponsor, they're not a sponsor either. But this, who knows? But anyway, that's all I have from news from Wenatchee, uh, Montana. Enjoy the tea. Uh, safe travels. And we've, I'm still hoping that we could try one of the green dots. Yeah. Oh. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Ta-da. We'll see. <laughs> yep. Green and green. Green and green. That's what it means. Da-da-da-da-da. Green shirt. Green shirt. Everybody I know has a green shirt. <laughs> green shirt. Da-da-da-da-da-da. Green. Green. To be seen in green but we're we're not mean we're not mean well not always too mean <laughs> <laughs> we're not too mean <laughs> da, 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 da. green shirt do, 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 do. that's all I know <laughs> <laughs> until next time applesauce, applesauce. Mm -hmm. <laughs>